Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. As I'm sure you guys have heard, a terrorist attack took place outside Liverpool Women's Hospital. But the perpetrator initially, they assumed of course that he was a Muslim. But as turned out, and these people have eggs on their faces, the far right, that assumed and jumped the gun without verifying the facts. He turns out to be a Christian. Today on the front cover, or front page of most famous newspapers, you can clearly see it has been made pretty clear. Yeah, the word Christian is there, convert is there. So pretty much today on the front cover, we're seeing extremist Christian and ex-Muslim. Uh, just give me a second. Ouch. Now what this reminds me of is when the non-Muslims asked the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him for the miracle. And the miracle was the splitting of the moon. They were like, yo, if you split the moon, we will believe you. And as they saw the moon being split, they said, wow, your magic even works there, mate. <laughs> so how does this relate to this situation? Whenever something like this happens, of course, other terrorist attacks happen all the time, but they don't get labeled as such. You'll just see in the headline, man, man did this or perpetrator did this, murder took place, his religion is not specified. But when it's a Muslim, his religion is specified. Unless of course, if you're a Bukhar, a Somali, and you have saved the life of a white woman. Being a Muslim yourself, yes, for a Bukhar of course, him being Somali, him being Muslim, it's not going to be mentioned that much. You know what I'm saying? Because let's face it, it goes against the agenda. So let's go back to the analogy. Yeah? They're like, you show me one example of where the perpetrator is not a Muslim, then I'll believe you. And we say, okay, here you go. He's a Christian, mate. They said, ah, but did he convert recently? No, it's about five, six years ago. Yeah, but how do we know? For about three, four years, he's been living with a Christian family, mate. Ah, but maybe he was an undercover Muslim, you know, undercover. Nah, mate, look at these pictures. He's a wine drinker and he loves tats, mate. I mean, <laughs> can't get more Muslim than that, yeah? No, Muslims don't do this sort of stuff. Yeah, but he seems all right. Nah, mate, because years ago he got done for brandishing a knife, mate, and he was sectioned and he lost his asylum and ever since then he's been cheesed off and you even got the likes of the Daily Mail mate the Daily Mail saying it's quite likely that he's, he got angry because he didn't get the asylum mate and Muslims whenever we're accused of perpetrating attacks <laughs> we don't get this label of mentally ill yeah we are the most mentally stable people on the planet no terrorist can be mentally ill no we our minds are rock solid mate and you know what these far right people started saying nah he, he faked it mate oh, just can't win with some people mate even when the guy is christian we have to bear the brunt mate and look at this uh a mosque in Liverpool, they had to compile a statement because let's face it, these people start going nuts, these far right guys, and start attacking innocent women, attacking the mosques. So he booked a cab, he got in the cab, and apparently they haven't disclosed that much information. The driver found out, he got out, locked him in, and then he detonated the driver. He survived, they're calling him a hero because he because if this guy got near the hospital, of course you, people would have died in there. But now there's difference of opinion. Some were saying he wanted to go to the hospital. Some were saying he originally wanted to go to the church. Conjecture mate. Yeah, what's your proof? What's your evidence? For all we know, he wanted to bomb the chicken chip shop. This was another interesting thing. The family, the Christian family he stayed with said, he was a lovely guy. So sad to see this. And this actually reminded me of Asim Qureshi who works for Cage and he said something about a terrorist because he knew him before the action. But no, 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 the media had a field day with that. But here, no one's even mentioned it. Yeah, these people are literally, what they're doing is they're praising a terrorist. But nah, it's alright mate, look, they're <laughs> cute couple. <laughs> so let's get back to this guy. He claimed he was from Syria and Iraq when he was actually from Jordan. He changed his name to Enzo, yeah, named after that Ferrari model. So what are you guys going to do now, yeah? You're going to blame Ferrari, huh? Because that's what happens. Islam says don't kill people, people kill people. But still Islam is blamed. 
Islam says you can't hurt innocent people, you can't do this, you won't be getting paradise. I do in the name of Islam. I is a Muslim then. It's like a guy eating a beef burger claiming to be a vegan. Are you gonna start labeling all vegans? I don't get this mentality, mate. It's like we can't win. And you got people saying, yo, oh, Christianity, man. It's very rare for Christianity. No, no, no. You just don't know your history, mate. From the dates between 0 and 2008, there was a study compiled of all the deaths that have taken place under the guise of different ideologies, yeah? And at the top, with 178 million, was Christianity. And look at Islam, tailing right at the bottom of the list with. 30 million and the way things are portrayed nowadays it's Islam mate it's, it's Islam but even if we look nowadays ever since 9-11 ever since 9-11 73% of the attacks have been committed by the far right this you can see the evidence in ADL and Europol in November you know November celebrating Guy Fawkes night what was Guy Fawkes night they are literally letting off fireworks because of a failed Christian bomb. <laughs> That's literally what it was. Guy Fawkes wanted to blow up parliament. He was a Christian, a Catholic Christian. But he hasn't been seen in a church since Christmas Day 2017 and by anyone's record that's not a great yeah. uh, history of church attendance. So uh, I... The Hang on a minute there. Only 5% of the Christians actually go to church. Let's bear that in mind, yeah? So what are you trying to say? The other Christians are not proper Christian, they're disbelievers now are they? So you had the far right bastions like hey you've got the Henry Jackson Society apparently they're supposed to be a think tank who spoke before thinking and then couldn't say anything after that frankly when they found out it wasn't a Muslim. Paul Joseph Watson starts going nuts yeah Muslim this, Islam this, da, da, da. What, what's going on now mate? You're gonna eat so much humble pie you're gonna get diabetes mate. Of course the Hindutva the Hindu extremists love giving their own uh, two cents. I'm going to end with one other argument. They're saying his bomb was similar to that used by ISIS. So what? If he uses a knife that's similar to the one Gordon Ramsay uses, does it mean you're going to pin the blame on Gordon Ramsay? Give me a break, mate. The media's getting so desperate. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.